Good morning, everyone. It's Doris Colgate with Steve Colgate on the dock, and we're doing our dockside chats um, round two. We've done quite a few of these over, I don't know how many now, close to 60. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this morning, Steve was gonna, is going to tell you about some occurrences that happened uh, with people uh, including one with me that might be helpful if you're out on a boat. These are some things that uh, we picked up over the over the years and God knows when or how. But one was uh, about hiccups. And uh, Doris, can you sh sh come here and show me? Sh have here I am. <laughs> and, and it turns out that there's a pressure point uh, on the ring, two ring fingers so right, right there and right there, right next to the knuckle, that if you press very hard uh, for a decent amount of time, sometimes it doesn't work on everybody, it doesn't work on Doris when she gets the hiccups, sometimes. but um, it does work occasionally. And it, one came, came, it was very interesting. I'll tell you about that. Um, we ha were having a race week with some guest experts uh, some fairly famous names of sailors. I think it was maybe Stuart Walker and Buddy Melgus. Um, and uh, we told the, you know, we put a, out a press release and the local TV show picked it up, TV news anchor picked it up and came out and with a cameraman and talked to them and then uh, went out on the water and he was in the committee boat with me and his photographer was on the other boat so there wasn't anything for us to really do and uh, and all of a sudden he said Steve I uh, get the anchor up we I got to get back into into shore and to the hospital uh, and I said why he said because I got the hiccups and the last time I had the hiccups it was three days with hiccups and by the time the third, third day came along I was in agony every every hiccup was uh, was, was, was muscular you know and it really really hurt and I went to the hospital and they were able to do an operation of some sort. And I said, I can't go through that again. I'm gonna uh, need to have this taken care of. And I said, well, let me try this. So I uh, took his ring fingers and pressed hard like we just demonstrated and they went away. And this guy was just so, can you imagine an anchor man on TV with hiccups? Doesn't work very well, so. <laughs> So he was very appreciative. Um, the other thing, Doris, was? Well, I was uh, in, a, in a group of, of uh, women, at the American Women Economic Development Council for Women Entrepreneurs, and we had a very stimulating meeting one evening, and then I met Steve for dinner um, at our favorite restaurant, and I was so excited about all the things that we were learning and teaching. It was like getting an MBA um, for, for women who ran businesses. And I got so excited, I took a bite of the duck that was on my plate and it stuck. And I couldn't breathe and I couldn't say anything. Um, and I, we had been watching uh, TV programs uh, with a particular uh, scientists who had been talking a lot about the Heimlich procedure and I knew that something had to be done because honestly I felt like I was gonna die and so I jumped up and I went like this and Steve gave me the Heimlich please don't do it really hard because it'll break your ribs but uh, it came out and if you don't know about the Heimlich procedure then you should learn about it because if you're on a boat or anywhere where you can't get immediate help, um, it will save you. And uh, I think there's been some some uh, very uh, well-known singers, uh, one in particular, for instance, who some think that she she died choking. Um, you actually can't choke when when it's stuck. You you can't hear her. You can't make any sound. But. Um, they think maybe that she could have been saved if she had had the Heimlich procedure. So it's just something to remember and learn about because when you are out on boats, anything can happen. 
So that's yeah, this is our story. It was Frank Fields. Uh, he was an ABC science uh, uh, TV person. And uh, the, it, this had just come out. And I think it was around 1978 or so. And it just, just had happened. And uh, he had put it on a maybe three weeks straight or once a month or something. He had, he had talked about the Heimlich Maneuver. And Doris and I just sort of absorbed it. And that's where it happened. So uh, it thank really, you, Frank Fields. Thank you, Frank Fields. <laughs>